day 24, I decided to go ahead and do some of the training modules. Of course, they start off with the gun modules and trying to learn to do the positioning again on a game with an actual proper flight model. It takes a little bit of effort. Definitely pretty sloppy in all this. And frankly, if these things weren't flying in a relatively straight line, I probably wouldn't have much chance. But that's all part of the learning process. As you can see, that's a mess. But there he goes. Alright, so this is the bombing run. Now, what I learned first and foremost is that I am really good at making golf courses. So if you actually need an 18-hole golf course, call me. 10 minutes, no problem. Yeah, not so good. So I went on YouTube and actually watched someone do it. And tell you what, sometimes seeing something makes things a lot easier. So this is my first attempt after watching a YouTube video. Let's see how it goes. Bingo. Yep, that seeing it in action does help. Moved on to gun strafing on the ground, and frankly on this run I have no idea how I managed to hit my target, so I had to make two passes because I thought the, uh, the target was located at the bunker again, but they put some like fire engines or something down here on the right, and just wasn't very good at hitting them. But somehow, at the very last moment, I hit my target and barely cleared the trees. Now this is where we had to navigate with the TACAN system. And for some reason, I it bugged out. And I basically went way off course. And I had to turn it off and turn it back on. And then it reacquired. I was, it was explained that maybe it was the hills that were blocking it. So... I got back around, and the landings on this plane are still kind of rough, but they are getting better, and I'm exploding a whole lot less, so hey, that's a good thing. Still kind of hard there. Now, this is the laser-guided bomb tutorial. You're supposed to contact the guy, and he's supposed to mark it for you, and... When I would call him, he'd say, yep, no more targets for you, have a nice day. So he refused to do it, it's bugged out, so I just kept making several passes and eventually just decided to do something else because I couldn't get the guy to actually mark the target no matter how many times I requested it. And as you can see, without guidance, not very close to that target. So I went on day 25 uh, flying around with MHE and Hammy and I really need to practice a lot more combat. Oh, flying into the sun won't save you? Yeah. <laughs> MHE is like all over me here. Uh, but I need to learn more of the energy management on a jet. And boy, I tell you what, he can spot me all the time with that radar. And I can't see him. So another nice advantage. But uh, I'm going to stick with the F5 for a while. Because it's clear to me that... Don't blame the tool. You know, it's the mechanic that's not doing the job. I find it very funny that I always see this black thing coming out of your tail whenever you engage your afterburn. And here's where I kind of burn off all my energy and, uh, well. I take a nice refreshing dip in the pool. Okay, you're probably gonna kill yourself. Oh well. There you go. <laughs> Uzi 
one one, Uzi two one. On your right is the home of the world famous Thunderbirds. They are the air demonstration squadron of the USAF, assigned to the 57th wing, based in Nellis. Created in 1953, they are the third oldest formal flying aerobatic team in the world, after the United States Navy Blue Angels, formed in 1946, and the French Air Force Petoy de France, formed in 1931. Uzi 11, Uzi 21, turn left to nav point flex. Heading 320, LSV 335 for 04. Uzi 11, Uzi 21, we are at nav point flex. Turn left to heading 270 and proceed to nav point FYTTR, LSV 267-433. Blackjack, Uzi 21, request clearance for Uzi flight of two F5Es south of gate 1. We have 1120 gun. How copy? Uzi 21, Blackjack, contact. You're cleared at gate 1. Your discretion. Altimeter 2988, millibars 1011. Weather is clear, visibility good in all quadrants. All control in the clear. Have a good day, sir. Uzi 11, Uzi 21. We are in range 74C, about 10 nautical miles northeast of the no-fly zone around Groom Lake. This restricted area is also known as the Container. Uzi 11, Uzi 21. That completes our tour of the NTTR. There are many other areas around Vegas to explore, including the Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, and the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. Hopefully this flight has prepared you properly for the missions to come. You are cleared to RTB to Nellis. Remember to park in the area reserved for the aggressors where we started. Uzi 21 out. Well done! That was a good flight. You should have no problem navigating the NTTR airspace now. Good luck with your future missions.